Hi, this is Lucas Guerin, and I'm going to show you my new Heise simulator keyboard layout. So this is based on Ryan Heise's uh, simulator, uh, which is uh, Cube in Java, where you manipulate it by pressing keys on your keyboard that correspond to about the way you would naturally move uh, the cube. And uh, the consensus is he did a pretty good job on this. So here, uh, this will show up a bit laggy, but I can do turns like this and uh, form across a little crudely. And I can just translate moves directly from my speed cubing thinking into this. So he published it here on his reinheiser.com site and made a new version at high cubes, uh, highgames.net for cubes on all sorts of sizes, uh, 2 by 2 through 10 by 10. And it's a pretty good system. But what I want to use this for is to enter algorithms so that I can type them up and send them over a chat or type them up for a web form or whatnot. And for that, it would be really nice to use this input and come up with notation directly out of this. So at alga.garen.us, I actually came up with a way to do this, alg typer, but that involves opening the page and then using a Java applet. But what you can do instead is take the keyboard mapping on a Mac and create a new keyboard layout. Rather than using QWERTY, you have this. And each key corresponds to move now, just as in the Heise simulator. And whenever you press one of these, the key will be displayed as you expect. So I on QWERTY would correspond to an R turn. So if I press it, I get R. And then if I press it again, I don't get R like this. Actually, this highlighted section will stay highlighted and turn into R2. And so it will automatically do move cancellation of the same type um, until you move on to another move. So let's say I move on to U. It will now do U. And I can finish up a U form like this. Or I can type up a T perm I'm comfortable with. And let's say I made a mistake somewhere. Let's say the last move was wrong. I can just type option delete to undo. And then we do that, except it was actually off prime. And there are a few other features. If you press shift and essentially uppercase it, you get a double turn, which could be somewhat useful to get used to, uh, to enter things quickly. And so this is pretty straightforward. If you've, you've used the um, Heise simulator before, you just enter um, moves as you're used to. And any algorithm that you can pull out of muscle memory like this, you can just type up. And then. Uh, it's also set up so that when you press the command key, like this, all the shortcuts stay the same. So copying, pasting, uh, changing between programs, closing windows, everything is like normal. So you can type up a few algorithms. You can cut, you can paste, you can paste again if you wanted. And uh, it's very easy to use. You simply switch the keyboard layout, and you type it up, and then you go back to, like, to your normal layout. You have your algorithm. And if you, find, if you want to have fun, you can key mash it a little bit, and watch the highlights progress. That's it. Uh, the Heise Simulator Keyboard Layout for Mac.